Four candidates are looking for your vote in the Republican U.S. Senate primary race. The primary is set for a week from a week from tomorrow, and the candidates agree one of the top issues is balancing the federal budget. So tonight we begin a three-day look at the candidates and the issues. Tonight we have balanced coverage of how they hope to accomplish a balanced budget. The White House is now projecting a 2012 federal budget deficit at $1.2 trillion. The fourth year in a row of trillion dollar plus deficits is adding fuel to the Republicans' fire that change is needed in Washington. You know, that's the number one responsibility is to pass a balanced budget. Let's get it done. This is the essence of this race, in my opinion. A race that pits four self proclaimed conservatives against each other. Jeff Fitzgerald, Eric Hovde, Mark Newman, and Tommy Thompson are all making their case to be a part of the political process. So we need to bring down the trillion dollars in spending that President Obama has passed on to us. As you have to have a cap on spending. Uh, that's the real thing that we need to look at. Each candidate is looking to challenge Democratic Congresswoman Tammy Baldwin for the open Senate seat. And they each place balancing the federal budget as a key to this race. Now, three of the candidates, Fitzgerald, Hovde, and Thompson, endorse Wisconsin Representative Paul Ryan's budget plan. Keys to Ryan's plan call for cuts in non-discretionary spending to 2008 levels, reforming the tax code, lowering the corporate tax rate, and repealing the Affordable Care Act. But they each added their own twist for a budget solution. Are there duplications? We have so many agencies of the federal government that duplicate what they're doing. We have 47 different agencies of the federal government involved in job training. But we also have to look at pro-growth policies, and that's why I've talked extensively about tax reform and deregulation. Number one, let's introduce a balanced budget amendment. Let's pass Paul Ryan's budget. Just think if we started that at a balanced budget amendment, an 18 percent ceiling, a 5 percent reduction in every federal agency, we would grow out of this and we would create jobs and opportunity in America like you haven't believed. I think the elephant in the room, though, is entitlement reform. That's what we really need to address. Uh, the same way uh, as Speaker, I was able to, uh, myself and Governor Walker, to look at collective bargaining reform because we knew as a state it was unsustainable. We have to look at entitlement reform on the national level. Newman praised the Ryan plan but came up with his own plan that outlines $1.4 trillion in cuts. It also goes the next step, and I think this is really important. I'm a home builder by trade. Most people, when they buy a house from me, they pay off their mortgage on a 30-year basis. So we applied that private sector principle uh, to government, and we've laid out how to actually pay off the $16 trillion debt after we get to a balanced budget. 